is Dr. Ali Reza and I'm representing Human Centered Robotics Lab, which is part of National Center of Robotics and Automation. The central purpose of this lab was to develop robots which are going to work alongside humans. And the idea was then further disseminated into three domains. First one being the collaborative robot, the second one being the exoskeletons, and the third one being the prostheses. So in the domain of collaborative robots, the idea was to develop these robots indigenously in Pakistan. So we thought that it would be really nice to develop this complex technology in Pakistan. Today I shall introduce you to Dexter 5, Pakistan's first industrial grade, indigenously built, five degrees of freedom robotic art. It is also a collaborative robot or a cobot, meaning that it can safely interact with a human coworker. We are also developing an improved version of Dexter 5, which will be a 7 degrees of freedom robotic arm. We have gone through all the domains, ranging from initial designs to the mechanical designs, all the way to the manufacturing, then the embedded electronics, and all the control systems alongside the softwares to have this product developed all in Pakistan. Uh, this is an industrial grade robot which can be deployed in many, many different ways and in many different applications. So in the other domain of exoskeletons, the central motivation was to help the humans which are working as workers in the industry to avoid muscle fatigue if there is any. So in industry, if worker is doing a job for repetitively for long hours, hundreds of times, so can we design those exoskeletons which can help those industrial uh, workers? So we have developed the powered version of exoskeletons and we have also developed the passive versions of the exoskeletons. The third domain was corresponding to uh, prostheses. So we have developed these powered prostheses which are going to assist the persons in their mobility which means these are going to work automatically. When person is going to have a walk, it is going to automatically adjust itself on the basis of the mode of walk or phase of walk which the person is in. So we have developed two versions of prostheses, one for the below knee amputees and one for the above knee am amputees. And this is going to help the amputees to work without having any external assistance. So the idea is that we have developed not only the, these products, but also an ecosystem which is going to enable us to develop similar products for different applications.